It's probably gonna cry at home tonight. I'm 45, not preparing me for this. We are currently drinking all the alcohol we have left. And so it begins. See you bitches in Toronto. <laughs> currently making legs. Cut time. Good morning. We are about to hike oh. the Coco Head Trail and we are having some sunrise shack before we begin, but we are scared. It is currently 11.10 in the morning, which means that the sun is getting hotter and hotter by the minute. We are gonna try and get this done in like an hour and a half. Can we do it? I have faith. Chris doesn't have faith, but I have faith. It's gonna be a little steep, but it's a Stairmaster. Nature style. Oh, people are looking rough. That lady looks like she hurt her ankle. I know that shit, alright, Kelly? Yeah. You heard me? I heard you. We actually spent the morning taking pics for Hyatt. And then after this hike, we're gonna go back and, um, do some lay making, which is gonna be cute and fun. But that's why we need to do this hike quickly, so we have enough time to go back and hopefully, maybe, even have some time for some letters. Anyways, I'll see you on the hike. And so it begins. Let's see how long it takes. To for us to get up to the top. <laughs> Currently halfway? I don't know. We're about to go up like like this. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, almost halfway. So uh, I'm sweaty. I'm 45 not preparing me for this. 15 minutes. Let's go. And uh, of course wants me to go right now, so I guess I'm going. Peace. You Wish me luck. <sighs> I'm sweating like I've never sweat before. Yeah. Chris is dying. Same boat. We're dying. I think we're like we're like quarter way left, I think. And it's the most brutal three, part. Three quarters. So, wish us luck. I think we, we got this, we can do it. We made it to the top in 34 minutes, fuck yeah. That was the hardest hike I think I've ever done in my entire life. That was messed up, that was torture, but worth it. I can't believe we just did did that. hotel with like literally two minutes to spare so we're gonna go downstairs and make some lace. Currently making lace. Like, it's gonna be really interesting but yeah so everything's calm. Look yeah. how pretty how are you guys here. Yeah. Um, this is probably not the best time to pull up a vlog camera because it's very dark in here. So I'll wait until we get into the light. Five, four, three, two, one. Aha! There we go. There's Chris's lay. It looks so nice. Wow. The girl who helped us make it, she said that it will dry out eventually, which is awesome. So we can just take it home. This is my lay. I think Chris got some BTS of us making it. Or I did. I don't remember. But yeah. we're going to eat some food now because we're starving. All we have today is... A small smoothie bowl yes. and shave ice, which is just frozen water and syrup. It's still good, though. Very still nutritious. <laughs> I love our room. It's like the best thing ever. We're back from the beach. 
We're back from the beach and Chris thinks I don't know what he's wearing. I know exactly what he's wearing. He's wearing this dark blue shirt that he loves to wear and has like red. I don't know what the details are, but it's red. And then he's know. got his beige shirt on. I mean his beige shorts on. Ready? Three, two, one. I told you. Yeah, but you don't know the Dark design. blue, the flamingos, that's what it is. It's purple actually. I don't think it's purple. I think it's oh, dark, it's dark blue. blue and a pink cat. Dark yeah. blue and red and the big shorts. What did I say? Huh? What did Shut I say? Shut the fuck up. Good evening. Cheers, motherfuckers. Welcome to Chris and Kelly's tipsy evening. We are currently drinking all the alcohol we have left. So that we don't have to worry about it tomorrow. And um, it's a good time. We're going to try and find some pad... Oh. Pad time. Some pad thai because we're craving it and we're feeling like it's going to be a good place to have it in Hawaii. You know what I mean? But yeah. Oh, right right down the street. I don't down think there. I even vlogged it all at the beach, but we went for, to the beach for sunset and it was epic. It was great. Yeah. But now we are going out of the town because that's what we do best here. And I'm drinking a Maui hard seltzer dragon fruit. <laughs> It's really yummy. <laughs> definitely, definitely has. I love Pad Thai, so I'm ready to see if this place lives up to the hype. Very fresh. You know what I mean? It's good, but it's hot. It's like trade fail. Trade fail. The sauce. Damn. After dinner, we are so tired. Good night, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, it is our last day here in Oahu, and I'm feeling very sad about it, obviously. But it is raining today, so I guess it doesn't make it as hard to leave as if it were to be like sunny and just like bright. But I love this place so much, so um, probably gonna cry at home tonight, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> Not looking forward to going to work tomorrow, but it is what it is, and I can only just continue to work hard to be able to live the life that I want to live eventually, so. Yeah, we're just currently packing right now. Chris is definitely lacking on the packing situation. I am basically ready to go. Just gotta pack my backpack, and then I'm, I'm done, basically, so. As always, waiting for Chris. This is the airport fit. <laughs> And, you know, usually I like to, to diss Chris when he can't be here to defend himself, so. Yeah, try to get me while I'm taking a shit. <laughs> How do you feel about having your last sunrise shack for a while? Definitely going to try and make more of these at home now. Do it. It's funny because Chris was saying, like, I wish I could eat this every single day. And it's like, that's why I eat it every single day. I don't eat, obviously, sunrise shack, but I make my own acai bowls at home. Wait, you don't get it shipped in every day? No, I don't, surprisingly, I know. But yeah, we're just enjoying this. I'm getting some coffee bean. And um... Right behind you, actually. Thank God. And then I'm gonna go to my store that I've been wanting to go to. That's the plan. Currently at the airport. I don't remember the last time I vlogged. It doesn't matter. We dropped off the turbo car and now we're here. And there's nothing better than chugging down a white club for hopping on a plane. Cheers. But I'll see you bitches in Toronto. Okay, YYZ, we need to step it up because the Detroit airport is popping. They've even got a freaking fountain. And they've got this, this train thing that like, takes you around the airport to different gates. So beautiful. We're it's supposed like, to be Toronto, but we're like hella lacking in our airport department. Look at this. It's, it's like, it's like dancing. Water dancing. Look at that, they're like jumping through the hoops and shit. <laughs> Chris like, is very like impressed. A, it's like a water dog show. Look, like, look at oh. the train go, like, see ya. 
Wow, must be nice. Also, we got zero hours of sleep on that freaking flight. And now we have to find our way to the next one. But we're almost home. Yay. I literally cried on the flight. But yeah, there's this place is freaking huge. <laughs> my hair. Oh my god. We made it back home in Toronto. Obviously, I'm back in my room. And I looked disheveled. What else is new? But after we arrived in Toronto, I literally went to work. Like I went to the office and put in basically like a half day's worth of work. I struggle with really bad vertigo. I don't know if I mentioned that in this vlog or any other vlogs, but I struggle with really bad vertigo. I was actually looking it up today. There's an actual name for the syndrome that I am experiencing. Um, it's called like disembarkment. Hold on, let me find out. Okay, so it's called disembarkment syndrome. Um, I didn't know that it actually had a name, but um, yeah, it has a name. It's basically when you feel like you're like moving, like you're on a boat, like you're swaying. Um, for me, it feels like that, and it's also just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's like vertigo. Um, so I struggle with that pretty badly, um, like after any kind of flight. So I'm struggling with that today, but I've been trying to stay awake. It's currently, yeah, it's currently 9 o'clock, and I think I'm going to call it a day um, and actually go to sleep. I think I've beat, I think I've beat the jet lag, but what I was trying to say is that I put in half days worth of work at the office. I came home, had dinner, um, and just like kept myself busy. I did not unpack. I was planning on it, but I just, I can't, I, with this vertigo, I just can't. So I'm gonna head to sleep. Um, it was such an epic vacation. Uh, I hope you enjoy the vlogs. And it's weird because like I haven't edited anything yet, but by the time you watch this part, I've obviously um, edited everything and it's up on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed the vlogs and it inspired you to travel to Hawaii. It is such a beautiful place. I cannot wait to go back. Um, I literally cried on the flight um, leaving and I always do because I just, I just love it there. I just envision my life there. Um, or at least like a good part of it. I don't know. It's just it's such a magical place So I hope that these vlogs inspired you to go and kind of showed you what to do where to eat where to stay that kind of thing um, and Yeah, overall we had such a we had such a blast. Um, I don't know how long this will take in terms of like how many vlogs I'll make um, before we travel again, but the next travel spot that we have is to celebrate my birthday in Vegas. <laughs> I know I'm like crazy, but I really want to go to Vegas to celebrate my birthday this year. And yeah, that's probably going to be the next trip. I don't know if I'll vlog in between there, but if I don't see you until then, I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Also, if that last clip made no sense, don't mind me. I'm just running off of one hour of sleep. In 48 hours so yeah bedtime let's do it <laughs>